going on everybody? Chuck here. Hope that you are having a fantastic day today. It is time for the first mow on the renovated lawn. We are about a month. Yeah, I think we're a month. Uh, this weekend I think is actually one month since we put the seed down. It's looking really, really good. Not perfect, but good. And so before we actually start cutting any grass, we'll go take a look at how everything has come in, talk about you know things I'm gonna do to fix any areas that aren't doing as well, and uh, just get to mowing. So the lawn is looking really, really good. I'm pleased with how everything's turning out for my very first full lawn renovation that I've done on my own house. Um, so I haven't been able, I've not been around very many lawn renovations where I've been around it and watching it all the time at my father-in-law's house or any other houses I've helped with. You know, I sort of did all the work and then I was gone until the next fertilizer feeding. Uh, so I didn't get to see the daily progression like I've seen here. Uh, so it's been kind of stressful, but overall it's looking really good We're on the side of the house. I did do a video. I never finished editing it. I may get to it this winter um, where I sort of redid this flower bed here or built a flower bed uh, just to make it easier to mow. But um, anyway, so you're gonna see that and on the other side too. But some things that happened, and it seemed like everybody that lives in Tennessee or sort of this area, when we all did a lawn renovation or overseeding around the same time. We got a lot of rain uh, shortly after uh, we did it. And so while I didn't have any major wash away, what ended up happening is the water did end up pushing the seed up into nice, neat little rows. I called it corn rowing. It caused basically a waviness to the lawn, and you can kind of see that. Um, in it and it did it throughout the whole lawn where everything sort of drains uh, out towards the house and out towards this area so as it was more pronounced early on when the grass are germinating but now that we're you know, like i said a month into this and as the grass is starting to fill in and thicken up some of that waviness has gone away uh, another issue i ran into is uh, trying to figure out where the watering how to water this lawn uh, it's 1500 square feet as i've said a bunch of times Basically, I have a sprinkler right there, and that watered sort of this back area here. I have a sprinkler here, down by the sidewalk, and then two more on the driveway, causing that overlap, head-to-head -head contact for the most part. But what ended up happening is where this sprinkler, that sprinkler down by the street, and that sprinkler over there by the front of the house, uh, right around this area, all three of them kind of met. And so this is the thinnest area of the lawn. It's not because of the shade, although the shade does play a part in it, but this area is the thinnest because it had three sprinklers converging here, two of them hitting at the hardest point because they were uh, or gear drive sprinklers. So a lot of the water comes at the end of the throw. So it kind of pushed a bunch of seed around. Some of it actually fell into the flower bed but pushed a bunch of seed around, so this area is actually a lot thinner. Same thing with this area right here. This is just where water collected, where all the sprinklers were hitting, and so a lot of this seed is what got pushed away. I have since reseeded a little, not reseeded, but I threw a little bit more seed down of the titanium. In the video, my last video that I talked about seeding, I called it Millennium LS. It's Titanium LS, and that's the lateral spreading fescue. So I put a little bit more of that out in some of these thinner areas. Uh, we should hopefully have enough time for everything to germinate and establish before we get our first frost. But overall, uh, the lawn, while thin in some areas and still having that sort of washboard or corn row look to it, it still looks really good. Really good germination on the lawn. And now it's ready to give it its first mow, and the first mow is actually more important than you think. Just a few things to consider before you get into that first mow. 
a lot of people hype it up that you need to be real careful when you're mowing your lawn for the first time. And that's both true and false. You don't have to prissy prance on your lawn. Now I'm not sitting there saying take, a, take your sweet time and just meander around. No, you still wanna get on and get off, but it's at this point, at least where I am, where it's over a month or about a month since I've um, put the grass seed down, the grass is long, so it is thickening up, thickening up. It's doing what it needs to do. I have walked on it several times uh, to put fertilizer down and just inspect things, and the grass, you know, lays down when I step on it, and then it stands back up like it's supposed to do. So the grass is in a good, healthy state. Now you're not going to want to sit there and go and put a striping kit on your mower or anything like that. That's uh, not a good idea but you don't have to overthink it. You can still enjoy the mow if you're like me. It's been a month, actually it's been over a month. I wanna say late July, early August was the last time I actually got to enjoy the mow here on the front lawn. So I'm gonna enjoy this mow. I'm gonna put some good tunes on and just really enjoy it. As far as when you should mow, that is up to you. What is your height of cut? What are you looking at for a maintenance cut on the lawn? Uh, with tall fescue here in the cooler months i like to keep it between three to three and a half inches when we get into the warmer months of the summer i crank it up as high as i can go which with my current mower it's four inches so you don't want to cut off more than a third of the grass blade and so that's when you should figure out when you need to mow is your grass a third of a leaf tissue taller than what you normally want to cut it at then you mow it there's not a time frame it's not like oh two weeks people see 21 days it's just read your grass. What's your grass telling you? Is it telling you it's time for a mow because it's getting too tall? Are you gonna cut off more than that one third of the leaf tissue? Then you should mow the lawn. That's when you should do it. Put some tunes on, I'm gonna get to mowing. felt good to get a mow in, I'm gonna tell you. Like, mowing the front yard, even if it was, it wasn't a charity mow, but I didn't take off nearly as much as I thought it was gonna be. I'll show you the bag here in just a second, but it still felt good to get out with the mower and cut the front lawn. And now it's been three days since I did the mow, or two days since I did the mow, and it's just rained for the last two days. Been kind of gross, gloomy, chilly. Um, the season is winding down, but it's still, it's coming along just fine. It looks like it's thickened up in some of those areas that I filled in with some seed, but it's it's looking a lot better, and I'm really just liking how everything is turning out. Let me show you how much I took off with the bag. So, a lot of uh, a lot of leaves in here, but there is some grass. So, between leaves and grass, a good quarter to a third of a bag in here. Yeah, lots of grass. There is grass in here, but there are a lot of leaves, which is fine. Um, getting those leaves off the ground so at least they don't met down my grass is still a win. Um, like I said, it is looking like it's thickening up a little bit better. There are a few yellowing areas I'm seeing as I'm coming back over the lawn. I don't know if maybe that's from the frost, not frost we had a few days ago, where it did mostly stay on the rooftops. Maybe some got on the lawn and I didn't notice it. Um, but for the most part, I mean, that's like, you know, 99.9% .9 of the lawn is fine. So I'm not overly concerned about it. I will keep an eye on it. Uh, if it starts to spread, then I'll have a little bit more concern. But other than that, you know, I'm really happy with how, with how things are turning out, especially here on the strip. Uh, other than, you know, thin area here or there, but this, the parkway here is coming in really, really nice. Hopefully I can get that nice and established for next summer and it can hopefully not just completely die off. But the lawn, you know, is looking really good. I know the coloring looks off. I have a spot like right there. That's a dog spot, not my dogs. So I had some dogs in the neighborhood come and give me a little more fertilizer. But the darker areas in the lawn are just, those are the thinner areas 
uh, where you're seeing more of that topsoil. So, um, but typically, baby grass always does have a little bit sh lighter shade of green, and then as it matures, it gets that darker shade. So, so anyway, that's it for this video. Please, so please do all that YouTube -y stuff, like and subscribe, because all that does mean a lot to me and to the growth of the channel. Um, but yeah, like I said, the season is winding down a little bit. It's one of those things you can't really pinpoint when the season's gonna end, but at least in the next 15 day forecast, we have some nights in the 30s getting up into the lower to mid 50s for highs. So we're getting close, maybe a frost warning in there uh, in one of those days. Then we have some days in the 60s. So it's just typical East Tennessee weather. So it's hard to say when the season's really gonna end, but anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Have a fantastic rest of the day and God bless. Mm -hmm.